Hey everybody, I'm Jackie Jin with David Griffin and Disney has officially announced the name of their new streaming service, Disney Plus. They also revealed that they will be having some prequel series for Rogue One and Loki. So what does this mean for the future of those franchises and Disney's campaign to compete with Netflix? It means a lot. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Because you have to yeah. realize that Disney has this massive library that has all their old films, which we are not sure how many, you know, Disney does like, we're gonna go back in the vault, we're putting Fox and the Hound and Cinderella in the vault, but they can be like, hey folks, hey parents, we have all the Disney movies that your kids can watch, and then also they have these movie franchises that are very successful right now, like they have the Marvel, they have Star Wars, and we know they're gonna make a Loki series, which is exciting, and now a prequel Rogue One series uh, with Diego Luna, so they, can, they have all this massive library they can just throw content out. We have this Mandalorian Star Wars series that's coming out, so they, I think they can really compete with Netflix because Netflix has a lot of good titles, but not all of them are recognizable. I, I mean, they, they definitely have some good titles, but for me, when Disney announced that they were coming out with a streaming service, I was like, okay, join the club. We got CBS All Access, we got Amazon, DC Hulu, Universe, yeah. Amazon, join the club, right? right? But I was like, t Netflix is still gonna be king. They're they just are, gonna dominate. Netflix right now has over 130 million subscribers yeah. worldwide. They are the king. So yeah. we're saying this, you know, looking ahead, but I feel like Disney has that, they yeah. have that potential to get that big. But see, initially I was like, Disney just has that classic content. Like they yeah. just have like the old movies we love, but they're not really bringing anything else to the table. Mm -hmm. But these huge announcements that they're gonna be bringing in Loki, Tom Hiddleston, you said Diego Luna with Rogue One. I mean, those are big actor names and those are big franchises yeah. that people really care about. I mean, billion dollar franchises. Yeah. Another thing is that these are two dead characters, right? So yeah. it's like, okay, like if the shows aren't successful, then it's like, Okay, never happened, they're dead anyways, right? Um, and then also, we can bring in some other cool characters like Darth Vader. Darth Vader, right? Obi-Wan. Oh, stop. Yoda? Oh, oh, Obi-Wan oh. and Yoda show, I'm, yeah. so this, yeah. the, the big thing for me is that the announcement of these new shows, I'm on board now. Like, yeah. I, I'm really on board and I really feel like they can be a contender now. I just wanna say one thing, I think, I know a lot of people have some issues with some of the decisions Disney has made, especially with ABC, you know, with Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which, you know, it, it has a, it's not a bad show at all, yeah. but it, it doesn't feel like it's really a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But they're bringing in Tom Hiddleston, like we said, with Loki. This is going to be a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, even though it's gonna take place before, uh, you know, let's say uh, Avengers 4 that's coming mm -hmm. out uh, in 2019 but it's, it's important, it matters, it means yeah. something. It's not gonna be some throwaway series that it's gonna look cheap. This is gonna no. be a hundred million dollar plus production. It's gonna be big time. Yeah, so I think they're putting in the money, yeah. they got strong talent, and then it's just like really cool stories and characters that we right. care about. So my big question though, is how is this going to affect the future of those franchises? You know, the current stories that we have going on, like will that have an impact on them? Well, I think right now, because what we're looking at are prequels, I don't think it's gonna have that big of an impact. Now, if they start doing stuff that coincides with the movies, I don't think they'll do that. I think they're gonna keep them separate, either taking place in a different universe or a different timeline, because I don't think they wanna to have to worry about, you know, not everybody has to watch the show to be able to enjoy the movie. So I think they're gonna keep them separate, even though they're gonna exist in the same universe. Okay, yeah. so the big question is, are you gonna get Disney Plus? Tell us in the comments section, and don't forget to check out our other videos, like if Disney Plus had an impact on why Netflix canceled all those Marvel shows, as well as our list in the top 25 best animated Disney movies. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.